everyone my name is precious aka precious the beloved and i have here with me adewara desaji i'm my husband well he says it's my husband are you yeah okay it is what it is oh. today we're going to be talking about the vision of labor yeah. in a home yeah. so do you think right um do you think some roles should be gender based in a home no i don't think so Okay. I don't think so because I believe um it's supposed to be whoever whoever get to see anything that need attention in the house should attend to it, should do it. Don't leave it for someone else to come and do it. Is it is like you have um a sense of responsibility. Mm -hmm. So when you see something that really need to take care of you do it you don't wait for someone else to come and do it all right well so i'm asking that question because in africa especially like being i don't know about like other tribes or yoruba people to believe that there's some things that the wife right should be the one doing instead of you know the man so for example the wife is supposed to be the one to clean okay. to cook to take care of the children okay. to make sure that the you know everything is in order shower while the man will be the one to go out to t to bring food home for the family yeah um the man going out to bring food home for the family is not a bad thing and um, the truth is, in some cases, the woman still help, helps in um, adding to what the man, the man is bringing. Mm -hmm. So if we are to make it like, okay, oh, it's your role to provide for the family. So when the man is struggling financially and the woman is doing well, are we going to say, okay, just leave him alone, let him struggle? Since it's his uh his mm -hmm. own role let him struggle while you enjoy your home money yeah so if you look at it from that perspective then you know that okay even when um your husband is bringing something mm -hmm. sorry i'm diverting into that you as the wife you still need to complement whatever is is bringing home when you have things um that you need to attend to in the house probably let's say um as a husband your wife decides to go to market to get some stuffs for the house and um you are with your baby at home and okay you you are, you're you're not even ready to change baby's diaper is it is the baby not yours mm -hmm. or i don't get is it like it's a sin or where was it written that it's, the mother must be the one to change it so i believe it can be help us to each other i mean i totally agree but i just feel that you know sometimes like the outside influence also because i remember a story like one day that i mean like you promised you know the family like i guess my parents and i that we're going to make these special noodles like you mm -hmm. know that you've been going on and on about that mm -hmm. okay he said he thinks it's the best at making noodles so <laughs> so he said i was going to make noodles for us so like as i was you know in the kitchen making the noodles at my parents house and the sister just walked in like i'm like ah that's auntie blah 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 i'm like ah please please i ran to the kitchen i was like please please just get out of the kitchen get out of the kitchen let me just it was like for what i'm like ah please please no before they think i've collected saturday from you and gave you sunday interpret it in english <laughs> I mean, like so i'm like please get out of the kitchen i was like nope i'm going to make it like i told you i'm going to make the thing but i just pretty much so people will not judge me so for me like i got scared that you know and I just didn't want it to be like misinterpreted really that why is he in the kitchen cooking for her like and she's over there watching TV with her parents blah 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 so I ran into the kitchen and I was like oh guys please come out before they put me on on your watch list 
<laughs> okay. But um, for real, my sister that you were scared of that day, mm-hmm. her husband washes her clothes. Yeah, I mean, but I understand, right? Like for, like, if her husband is doing that for her, mm-hmm. it may be okay. Okay. But if she sees her brother doing it for another woman, mm-hmm. it may be that, ah. I mean, I'm not saying she's like that. Though. Yeah, I'm just I saying, totally like, understand. generally, like, yeah. just the way people process things. Like, if people are doing it for them, it's okay. But you know, what one thing I really, really think um, we should deal with is that third party interference. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. the way I know guys that project something that um, they cannot even try in their own house, they'll try and present it to you to go and try your own house mm-hmm. and the truth is if um you are not wise enough to know when not to take her I, I met someone that for for him the only reason he couldn't leave nigeria when he had the opportunity like several years ago was because he felt the western world favors the woman more the woman more Mm-hmm. So and it says something that that he cannot go and be washing plates in his own house. And I asked him, I said, sir, I don't understand. Who who is supposed to be the permanent plate washer? Uh-uh. Yes, because <laughs> I don't understand. My okay. own view is actually different. I feel somehow after eating and someone is trying to drag my plate with me. I wash my plate by myself and even he allowed it. Oh, so okay. I wash his plates for him. Thank you very much. Then you see, these things are just, it doesn't re- reduce you. You are still the man that you are. It doesn't change you. Sure. And the truth is, even as a woman, when your husband is doing it, don't see it as his duty. Mm-hmm. See it as a privilege. When your wife is doing something for you, don't see it as a duty. See it as a privilege because you have a responsible wife. True. You have a responsible husband. True. So when, when we sorry, when we love and respect each other, these things will not be a big deal. It will not be a big deal. Mm-hmm. It's just supposed to be like, oh, okay, because I don't understand. If I love you, why would I leave you to be doing everything in the house? Struggle. And I will just sit there, cross my leg. As a king. Watching Messi. Or Ronaldo. <laughs> what sense does that make? So, if you if you think, yeah, I, I've heard of someone, uh-huh. a lady, that practically the boyfriend doesn't know how to do anything. Uh-huh. He couldn't wash his own clothes. He couldn't cook for himself, and he now has this chronic no chronic African mentality that believes a man must not do it and when i was approached i told that lady i said it's very simple leave no it doesn't she doesn't need to leave in as much as the guy cannot do it if he's ready to employ someone to uh -uh, leave a soft life that you want to leave if the guy is ready to but if he wants you to do everything my sister don't die young I, I mean, so I totally agree with you. I think, I mean, for in that scenario, I, I don't think that girl should wait. I mean, that's just my own opinion because guess what? She's just going to be signing up for slavery, really. Especially if there is no proper communication mm-hmm. before they get married, right? So I would like to throw it back to you guys. Do you think there should be division of labor? like in a home in a marriage or do you think you should just keep to i mean the woman should be the one cooking cleaning taking care of the kids while the man focuses on just providing for the family even for some family just because the man is providing the men are not as involved as they should be with their kids mm-hmm. and their their home in it like you know so i'll leave it back to you guys um, do you think there should be division of labor? Do you think you should they should separate the roles? Please let us know what you think. You can leave your comment in the comment section. Um, like and subscribe to this channel. 
and we'll see you later thank you so much for watching god bless we have to buy to the god look kisses